Welcome to using Julia and Group Theory to describe molecular vibrations. This work is presented by Roberto Bernal and Leon Alday from the Metropolitan Autonomous University in Mexico City. First of all, we want to thank the organizers for giving us this great opportunity to share our experience with other Julia developers. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the goals of our uh, work. Well, our goal is to develop a general package to describe molecular vibrations using Julia. Uh, we will be doing this taking advantage of Julia's great numerical and symbolic capabilities. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the nature of the problem. Uh, we want to describe molecular vibrations, as I, I said. Uh, at low energies, molecules vibrate harmonically, as you may know. Their motion is not arbitrary but depends upon the geometry of the molecule and the determination of the modes of vibration is a fundamental and important, is very fundamental and important in many fields of, on many fields of knowledge. Okay, uh, well the nature of the problem and the mathematical nature of the problem, uh, first of all we will need to calculate the kinetic energy of the molecule and we will also need the potential energy of the molecule. Once you have the kinetic and the potential energy of the molecule, you can use the Lagrange equations in order to arrive to the equations of motion of the molecule. And uh, using these Lagrange equations, you arrive to a set of couple of equations that you need to solve in order to find the solutions. Well, this, uh, this lead us to an eigenvalue problem, and this eigenvalue problem, uh, uh, once uh, the solution is calculated, uh, well, you obtain the eigenvalues that corresponds to the frequencies of vibration, and also you obtain the so-called uh, normal modes of vibrations that corresponds to the eigenvector. Uh, this is a brute force approach, and is uh, well. It is more or less uh, the general method that you have to follow in order to arrive to the solutions. As we saw, the problem uh, is well tackled by classical mechanics as well as uh, quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is also tackling this problem easily. And well, the the thing is that. Uh, the solutions are obtained straightforwardly, but you need a computer and a complex software in most of the cases, especially with, with uh, big molecules. Symmetry considerations may or may not appear. I am mentioning this because our solution is given uh, using group theory, group theory methods. Well, I will uh, talk a little, about, a little bit about our, solu our solution. And as I said, uh, we are using group theory methods. This, these methods uh, make systematic use of symmetry. And you need a uh, pen, paper, and of course, a computer in order to find the solutions. Well, only a remark. The method is, if the method is not appropriate, even if you are using group theory, well, you will obtain a solution, but after suffering, I mean, uh, you obtain the solution in a cumbersome way. Then you have to have an appropriate way of using group theory. Okay, and uh, well, we are only just uh, having this set of equations because we will use something called the complete set of commuting operators. And why, I'm, why I am mentioning this? Because uh, if you have to find this kind of, uh, I mean, this set of commuting operators, it will be very important to have uh, symbolic uh, manipulation capabilities. That's one of the things that makes Julia so powerful uh, in the solution of these problems. Our solution needs uh, not only this uh, powerful symbolic manipulation, but also needs easy integer manipulation fast ma matrix arithmetic, and a differentiation-capable symbolic algebra package. As well as, it's important to have 
a viewer in order to, because sometimes viewing is important and especially in teaching. And the capability of uh, graphene molecules is also given in Julia uh, in, in different ways. Okay, uh, uh, in, in our solution, we will have complex expressions like this. I mean, complex uh, expressions. But in Julia, it's possible to handle this complicated expression in a symbolic way. That's very, that's, that makes Julia fantastic. To, to handle this kind of problems. As an example, for instance, uh, we, we have this kind of molecule, uh, H3+, plus, and we will find expression like this that are not easily handled in other languages. And that's, I, that's one of the things that made Julia so fantastic in this approach. Okay, besides Julia, allow us to uh, to, to make a, a library that I, I'm, I'm a group theoretical method library that will be a part of the solution. If Julia is also excellent because of RPL is his testing, and besides Jupiter is excellent for the didactic purposes, and Julia allows JMOL integration. What is JMOL? JMOL is a viewer, molecular viewer. And this uh, integration gives Julia an advantage over other uh, languages. Besides, Julia allows a symbolic, uh, well, is, is enables a symbolic algebra, has symbolic algebra cap capabilities, I'm sorry. And with this same engine, is fantastic uh, in, at, at the time of solving this kind of problems. Besides, we have uh, in Julia a uh, linear algebra package that is also very good and allow us to, to solve these uh, eigenvalue problems that are presented in the solution. Well, for this characteristic, I, I think that uh, we, have, we, we, we have been able to, to, to develop this package, although it's, it's still developing, uh, still we are developing this package, we have uh, been able to, to develop these solutions in a very short period of time. Uh, this is all what I want to say. Uh, and thank you very much for your attention. And again, I thank the organizers for giving this great opportunity. Thank you very much all, to, to you all.